This is the Clemson Kansas game, and uh, it's coming to an end. Watch this in regular speed. How can anybody that's ever had a striped shirt on not know that's a traveling violation? How do we miss that? Why are we? Gee, I just don't understand how we can do that. The rule says a player may gain control of the ball with one foot on the floor, two feet on the floor, or no feet on the floor. In this case, this player for Clemson gains control of the ball with neither foot on the floor. And he comes to the floor, his feet land about simultaneously. And so now either foot can be the pivot foot, but he starts a dribble right away. so. He, he doesn't have a pivot foot until he ends the dribble, which is right there. Both hands just touch the ball. And if you're not sure which foot is the pivot foot, just choose one because they're both moving. They're both, he has no, he jumped again. The right foot comes down. He steps with the left foot. And he's already traveled twice. And when that right foot comes back to the floor, that's three times. And he goes up for the shot and gets two points finishes it off and the, the defender knew better than the foul him. maybe he thought the guy was going to call traveling for him but that's um that's unbelievable not for us not to get a whistle on that